I don't know if we're supposed to kill them, but you just dropped a locker on me and took my friend, so... He sm... <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Excess Recess. I'm Docs so and we're going to continue playing Little Nightmares 2. So, uh, in the last, in the first part here, we basically were a kid with a paper bag on our head, found our way to a house where we found our little friend here, and ran from a giant Mr. Potato Head dude with a gun, um, who we managed to blast away. After sailing on a door, we landed here, and this is where I think more of the real game begins. A lot of that seemed to be control, teaching you how to do different things, jumping, grabbing, and some little minor puzzles, but nothing really substantive. So hopefully from here on we'll, we'll uh, start to get a real sense of the game. Now, I watched uh, Captain Sauce, one of our favorites around the house. He basically did a review of the same kind of part. And uh, he was mentioning in the original, um, there was a lot of similar elements and that the story will never be spoon-fed to us, that a lot of it's going to be interpretation. And that's kind of what I found so far. Um, there's been almost, there hasn't been any dialogue, there's been no subtitles, there's been nothing really telling us what is going on. So all as we know is it seems like the hunter guy with the potato head was s stuffing people. Um, now we don't know who they were, what was going on. This kid was found in the basement. And that's all we really have as far as story so far. I know there was, uh, I did watch the trailer, but that was kind of about it. There was some talk uh, from Captain Sauce about a broadcast, and that's kind of initiated this. And I also saw in the comments, a lot of people were talking about the hats, and I've already missed a couple. Apparently I missed a rain hat, and I missed a, 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 a raccoon hat. I didn't even know that was a thing, and I'm not going to go looking for the locations. I'm going to keep my eyes open. If I see a hat, I'll grab it, obviously. Um, but I'm not going to look up the location. I'm trying to keep this as... I want to get a real sense of just playing the game without having all that background uh, knowledge ahead of time. Although, I will play this through again because I am enjoying it, and I'll try and see if I can grab all those hats um, another time. Farther in the future, I'm going to say. So we get started. Uh, if you are enjoying these, please uh, follow along, and uh, you can check out these videos afterwards. I'll edit them down and post them on YouTube. You can get us at Excess Recess on YouTube. That's e -X, or X E S S R E C E S S, Excess Recess. And let's get her started. Now, we did have a kid over by this TV here who just magically turned to dust when we walked up to him. Um, I don't know if that meant anything. Probably did. But that TV is broken, so... Who knows? Okay. We got a big black screen. There we are. Okay. Uh, it, that's not how you watch TV, dude. That's just that's just not how it's supposed to work. Oh, those birds! All through the last episode, they kept on uh, ratting us out to the hunter we were running from. We'd be hiding in the grass, and of course, a bird would screw it up. Oh boy, more shoes. Because this wasn't weird last time. Come on, there you go. Okay, it's a diner full of empty clothes and more shoes. Let's see if we can get behind the counter. I'm doubting it, but let's give it a shot. No, we just can't jump high enough. And I'm going to bet there's a block. Yeah, that way is blocked. Mm hmm. Do I guess we're going through the hole in the door. Something made that hole. And I don't think I want to be around when we find out what it is. More TVs. So I guess this is linking back to uh, what some of the other people had said about broadcasts and whatnot. 
Oh, I need a boost. There we go, bud. Oh. How is he gonna get through? Till it falls off the other side. Or there's something in that cauldron up there. Could very well be. Okay, give her a boot. Give her another boot. One more shot. Ooh. And I flip and missed. This is the only part about this game that's been a slightly frustrating is there's not a lot of room for errors in some of these parts. Uh, in part one, I got run over by a log uh, because they didn't tell you what the sprint button was until after you got crushed by a log. So there's some things like that which are just gameplay issues, and I don't mind at all, uh, especially because you're not counting lives and I'm not having to worry about uh, starting way ba back at the beginning of a level if I die too many times. Because I do die a lot in all sorts of games. Okay, we're going to get a good swing going here this time. Yeah, kid, I can hear you. There we go. Start over here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to push the TV down to you. Short round. Well, if I was that kid, I would have pooped a little, but he made it. Now I'm imagining he's going to be the one to help me get across this gap up here. Another jumping one that I'm going to just bet. Yay. That was a hell of a jump. I don't think I've seen him jump even a quarter that way, that far, uh, when I make him jump on my own. Pretty much keeps you on there. There's really not a lot you have to do to stay on board. Okay, somebody hangs themselves and we use it as decoration. Hmm. Broadcast. That is really apparently hurting us, so I'm not too sure what it's supposed to be. Let's see if we can turn it off. It's not really giving us an idea of what exactly we need to do to tune it. There we go. Well, this looks a lot like the hallway we started on. And I'm really hoping that we don't have to start at the beginning and I was just a doofus who made a silly mistake. Don't play with the TV or some stuff like that. Okay, I think we really needed to get to that door. Hmm. I do think this is one of the only non-broken TVs we've seen since we uh, started this game. Come on. I'm pretty sure that... I'm going to end up getting all the... There's, it looks like a good, at least one, if not two, DLCs for this. Uh, so I think I'm going to want to check those out at some point. See anything obvious? If I don't see anything obvious, I'm not going to spend all my time hunting for stuff. Uh, although I would like to find the hats. Come on, kid. Can we push that or do we got to pull it from the side? Okay. Grab on. Here we go. Alrighty. Crud. And through the fence. Aha. A rope ladder. 
So somebody use this to escape. And we're going to climb right back in. More shoes. Ooh, I was just having a seizure, apparently. She ain't got no eyes. Uh, that's probably a clue. There we go. Do we stand in the light? Onto it. Hmm. Come on, kid, you stand in the other light beam. No? Alright, let's see what's in this open room. I'm imagining we gotta come back to her. Oh, I see there was a flipping hole behind that guy's head, too. That was super bizarre. Yeah, he kept grabbing a can. Let's see if taking a can and throwing it at the picture will do anything. Oh, don't close the door, dummy. Open it more if you can. There we go. Okay. Aim high and... Ha ha. Let's move that out of the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the timeout chair has been used a little too much. Oh. Yeah, you're going to stand right there, aren't you, kid? And I have to stand right there, too, so that we can both fall down. Do it. There we go. Most games you at least, you kind of know what you're looking for. Um, so far in here, we don't even know what we're looking for. No time has anyone uh, given us any information other than letting you wander. And I get that's kind of what gives this game that feeling of mysteries, the people that I was waiting to see. Oh my god. Kid, get down. Oh, they're moving away. Okay. I don't have to hide like a chicken. Um, yeah, we don't even know what we're looking for. We came to the school and we've basically been following the path of least resistance. Um, we go in whatever direction we seem to be able to go in and not worry too much about the baseball. Ooh, what we actually need to do. Another kid. Ooh, is that a hat or something up there? I don't know. Don't know if that's a hat or something. Actually, don't really truly care. I'd like to find some of the other hats, see what he looks like by taking the paper bag off his head and else on. Ooh. They're doubling up on... Look at the traps everywhere. Okay, the kid ran down the hall over there, but I'm going to go in this door first. Because I feel like getting killed. Yeah, I kind of saw that one happening. Let's give the door a sh shove and then back up. No. Shove and then back up. I wonder if it's just going to make you commit.
What the hell was that? Can we get up there? Yeah, I guess we can follow the other kid. There was nothing useful other than someone scurrying back in that hole. Didn't really give us any information and didn't really help us out. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I think we need that locker to drop, so we have to. Yeah. Because we need to get up on here. Oh boy. That looks like three levels of something to fall. <laughs> Jerks! That was a setup from the get go. Yeah, it's almost like you have to die to figure out these things, because I would have never saw that coming, unless I got smoked in the head with it. And I love how this kid's letting me go first. Let's just see if we can set off any traps. Just getting ready to duck. Who's making the dog sniffing their ass sound? Go, jeez. Get up there. Oh. And he is not interested in giving me a boost. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, They're missing heads. Did he just take... Uh, Jerks just took my friend. Headless dolls. It's nice. That's just flipping fantastic. Smash your lockers, you jerks. I don't know if we're supposed to kill them, but you just dropped a locker on me and took my friend, so. He sm <laughs> Nice try. Man, I gotta have to leave this here, and I. Yep. And I need a key. Ooh. Creepy ass teachers coming. I'm gonna sneak in. Ooh. I wonder if this is all the doll children that I just was smashing the heads of. Look at your blackboard, there's something important. There you go. substitute teacher. Alrighty, let's see if we can get the heck out of here and figure out where we need to go next. Where can we find our little friend? Well, there's the key that we needed to find. There's also a vent over there. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm imagining this is gonna be just like, Ooh, run. Behind the door, shoot. I didn't hit the key. Oh, that is disturbing. So she saw me. So I need to pick up that key and get in that vent as fast as I can. Over 
Grab the key. Run over. Crouch and hide in my box. Let's see if the creepy teacher finds me now. God, that's so disturbing. Heart snake heart horrible substitute. Ha <laughs> there we go. That is the direction we needed to go. So, basically we got into school, we lost our friend, we smashed a couple heads of those doll-like children, and now we're in the storeroom in a classroom where we gotta sneak the hell out past a creepy teacher and all the doll kids who just mauled me. This game is just, uh, that's been part of it, that you find out what you did wrong after you die and it was wrong. Um, there's not a lot of clues or heads up given to you in advance, and that's kind of the fun part. You know you're gonna die. A lot so you just kind of enjoy it and try and figure out how you can tweak little bits to to get through it so uh we will see you next time and thanks for watching oh, wow.